Chris, MTD CNC, we love new launches of machines. Now this is a new launch. Why the launch? What is different about this machine? Okay, welcome back, Mark. Yeah, this is the launch of the new ALC 600G machine. Uh, this is uh, uh, an upgrade and a refresh of a previous machine called an SLC 600G. There's two machines in the range. This is the 600 version that we're in front of now. They do a 400 version of it as well. The 600 denotes the largest x-axis cutting area. So this is a 600 by 400 cutting area. A couple of new features on the machine. Uh, first of all, a brand new control system which is a, uh, again, it's a refresh. It's a newer, slicker, more modern version of the previous control system. There's new software contained within as well, uh, and new things like cutting conditions and uh, a new software in there. So um, also there's a new automatic wire threading system um, with a new wire guide system that actually uh, stabilizes the wire. And it also, uh, there's a new conductivity piece design in there and also upper and lower wire guides have been changed. So that's something that's very important for the markets that we're trying to launch this machine against, which are probably the higher end markets, military, defense, aerospace, medical. They're all gonna want reliable automatic wire threading systems because they're gonna wanna run over the weekend or maybe four or five days on the bounce and, uh, and obviously a reliable and robust automatic wire threading system is gonna be important to them. Chris. Based on those benefits and features, is there anything new on this machine? Yeah, a couple of additional things. Um, there is a additional P4 terminal on the machine tool. Now we use P3, P4 uh, for surface finish. So because we've got now an additional terminal, it gives us the ability to create better surface finishes than on previous machines. Um, also, there's some additional cutting software, uh, cutting technologies installed on the new control system as well. Um, so yeah, surface finish is going to be improved on this product. Also, there is a higher use of fiber optic cables in the machine. So it gets over some of the older problems of uh, traditional copper cables and connectors. So everything's newer and slicker and quicker using fiber optics. So it just basically improves the machine's capability and performance. Obviously being prismatic machining, what sort of accuracy does it have, Chris? Well, linear motors, actually the resolution of a linear motor is a tenth of a micron. Um, so the accuracy when you've taken into account uh, subsequent skim cuts, you're going to be looking at two to three microns on this machine. So linear motor is incredibly accurate, no wear on the machines. We offer a 10 year accuracy guarantee, a standard on all Sodic machines. Uh, so yes, it's just a nice accurate machine. Chris, one thing I've noticed from the SL machine, that the control panel is very, very different. Yeah, new version of the control. It's a 19 inch touchscreen now, um, but a bit simpler, so more user friendly. We still kept some of the old features from the SL that were considered still very useful. So the ability to import both 2D and 3D models into the machine tool. So 2D via DXF file and 3D via Parasolid file. Uh, and that we use the 3D uh, import as kind of a translation device. So the ability to basically take the information stored in the 3D model and extract it and turn it into ISO programming. So the, the, the customer or the operator just basically clicks on the model using a cursor and uh, of the cavities that he wants to machine and it extracts the information from the model and we can create ISO programming from it. So a very useful feature. And is some of the philosophy behind the, the older control on the SL, you've kept the best? Yeah, I think that, that's important to say because uh, you know, things like the filtration system, which is uh, you know, a nice ergonomic height, you're not fetching uh, filtration out from um, a water tank and getting covered in swarf and water and everything else. So it's a nice, easy system to use. Uh, the jumbo wire feed system, which is the, uh, the ability to load a 20 kilogram wire spool in. Again, uh, for the sort of industries that we're supporting here, they want to be able to run overnight and they also want to be able to run, you know, three or four or five days on the bounce without having to change the wire. So that's a useful function for them. And then the rise and fall work tank, which obviously gives the operator, you know, the ability to slide nice work pieces in there, more throughput through the machine. So yeah, there's a few things that, that haven't changed, but they're the, they're the nice, nice, nice parts of the previous machine. So in other words, not totally new, but kept a lot of the good features from the SL. I think that's fair, yeah. This is more of a refresh. So uh, just an updated control system and a few nice little bits. Uh, and, and they've obviously combined them with the useful features from the previous machine, so yeah. And one thing I've noticed on the machine is that the actual design and the features, it's a lot sexier, isn't it? 
Yeah, this is, uh, we've got a new guard system on this, new CE guarding system. Um, so the two doors, uh, the right hand door just slides away into the control system. The left hand door slides away around the outside of the machine, giving a nice working area on the machine to be able to slide work pieces in. Um, and I've also got a, uh, what the Japanese call it an andon system, but it's basically a signal tower design so that an operator can view the status of a machine or maybe a supervisor can view the status of a machine from across the other side of a workshop without coming to look at the control system. So we've got some sodic made LEDs incorporated into the, uh, into the guard design uh, and they run through different colors. So green, which you see now is just a neutral condition. So no alarm message, but not machining. And then there's red, which obviously shows uh, an error message or maybe a temporary stop or a, or a or a full stop on the machine. And then there's blue, which is the electrical discharge itself. So that means the machine's physically doing some machining. And, and based on sort of customer feedback, do, do, does that go back to SODIC in Japan in reference to R&D? And this is why, what the result of it effectively? Absolutely, yes. SODIC, the name SODIC is actually made up from three Japanese words, meaning to create new ideas, uh, implement those ideas and overcome difficulties. So they're, the ethos of the company is very much uh, a research and development organization and they are very good at listening to both dealers and suppliers and customers and if there's things that uh, you know that, that customers aren't happy with on the machine then SODIC will always listen and change it accordingly so I mean it's there I think um, SODIC's traction in the marketplace to be fair is uh, they, they needed to design a machine that was both uh, technologically advanced as well as aesthetically good to look at so that's why they've changed the, the physical outside design of the machine as well as some of the internal parts as well. And do you think this uh, machine would uh, feature to existing customers or new customers or both? Yeah, no, I think it goes across the board really. This is our premium version of the machine. So it's based really at the higher end markets, as, as I've already said, uh, you know, aerospace and military and defense and medical. Um, but having said that, you know, anybody that's trying to achieve uh, two or three micron accuracy, we've got some great surface finish technology on here as well and all new software, so yeah, it should, it should appeal across the board. So any customers or new customers that are looking for this type of machine, can they come to your, your Coventry showroom to have a look? Absolutely, yeah, the machine's here installed now, and this is the UK launch of it. We've also got entry level and mid-range machines here as well, as well as a full range of Dysync machines. So there's something here for, for, for everybody, really. We've got the new OPM machine there as well, so yeah, plenty to see, so yeah, come and see us. Chris, thanks very much. All right, pleasure, Mark.